I'm about to show you some stuff that's just ready to come out of the lab, literally, and I'm really glad that you guys are going to be amongst the first to be able to see it in person because I really, really think this is going to change, really change the way we interact with machines from this point on. Now, this is a phot photographer's light box application. Again, I can use both of my hands to kind of interact and move photos around. But what's even cooler is that if I have two fingers, I can actually grab a photo and then stretch it out like that really easily. <laughs> I can pan, zoom, and rotate it effortlessly. The interface just disappears here. There's no manual. This is exactly what you kind of expect, especially if you haven't interacted with a computer before. Now, when you have initiatives like the $100 laptop, yeah, I kind of cringe at the idea that we're going to introduce a whole new generation of people to computing with kind of this standard mouse and Windows pointer interface. This is something that I think is really the way we should be interacting with the machines from this point on. <laughs> There's no reason in this day and age that we should be conforming to a physical device. I mean, that's how you, that leads to bad things like RSI. I mean, we have so much technology nowadays that these these interfaces should start conforming to us. I mean, there's so little applied now to actually improving the way we interact with interface from this point on. Now, the great thing about mapping applications, it's not really kind of 2D, it's kind of 3D. So again, with, with a multi-point interface, you can kind of do a gesture like this. So you can kind of be able to tilt around like that, you know? <laughs> it's not just simply relegated to this kind of 2D panning in motion. as far as the stars Please stay a child somewhere